Hello my legion of little goblins, this is Gamer Dragon, and welcome back to Let's Play West of Loathing, and I got good news. I finally found Curious False Mountain! Oh, good grief. A twig snaps in the woods behind you. You catch a moving shadow out of the corner of your eye, but nothing is there. You have an uncanny a feeling that you're being followed. Look, I'm on my way somewhere, can't we just cut to the chase? A huge skeleton? Much taller than any human, with and with structure and posture somewhere between a human and a gorilla, smashes out of the order of and charges at you. Rawr! Good, thanks. Fight him. That is a weird head. I don't think that's a normal skeleton head. But I'll leave it to Alice. Ta-da! And hooray! Alice has become stronger! Oh, damn! Oops. Oh, good, we've got gem blossoms. Oh, I didn't notice the ones over here. Six and the, that stack of rocks are not going to let you through, Uhithia. Ah. Uh, yes! A shove here, a push there, and the whole stack collapses in on itself. Something strange about these rocks? Is there? I couldn't tell! Let's see, what do I got for. Oh, I check my mysticality. I just need five. That. Why can't I just ever my... Yeah, see that. Investigate. Some of these rocks aren't real. They vanish as soon as you look at them closely. Oh, yikes. This thing has a job to do, and it isn't going to take any of your gruff. Put that guff, that guff right back in the bag and make sure you use it a twisty tie so it doesn't go stale. Oh boy, this is gonna be a big one. First things first, I'll just use a couple of sticks of dynamite. We need a couple more steps. That's one. That should finish off. Oh, oh, that That's backup. Hopefully, whatever that thing was guarding was worth the trouble. Whoa. This is definitely one of the largest hex guts you've ever seen. There's a cylindrical piece here that that's obviously very broken. Replace it. You pop out the broken cylinder and replace it with the one you found. The machine wears to life with a riot of blue lights and weird noises. I don't know what I did, but it did something. I have no idea what the fuck what that was. Oh, it's this dark. Am I supposed to get a key from that or something? Ads are a menace.
Here we go. I don't know what the fuck that did. I am I am very baffled. I am very confused. I am very baffled. I am very lots of things. that key a key or something Okay, apparently I gotta find a place called Curious Flat Plain. Walked by a large moose. Although somewhat related to cows, moose are not evil. They're just jerks, like most of the animal kingdom. They're also quite large. This one is just sort of staring at you and doesn't seem inclined to move. Move that moose. You pick up the moose and huck it into the bushes. It makes a very surprised noise. <laughs> oh my god. Doctor, Dick. I 
just love how she throws a metaphor at me. Ugh. Try to skin the frozen snake, but it just shatters as soon as your knife touches it. Okay. You see wisps of smoke rising above the pines nearby and spur Queenie over to investigate. The source is a little shop nestled deep in the forest. Almost as though the proprietor doesn't want customers to find it. You jot down the location. You jot the location down on your map so you don't forget where it is. Let's head on over. Oh yeah, they really don't want customers. Ew. Ah, you cannot see me. Oh, yikes. Uh, howdy, Ames. Holloway. Nap, Hab Holloway. Sorry for the chittering. I ain't seen another person in a long time. That's not surprising. This place is pretty secluded. What do you do here? Mostly I sell pine cones to squirrels. Frowns. Alright then. Holloway chews on something he had stored away in one of his cheeks. Wait, H. Holloway? I found a silver pin. Ah, dang it! I was hoping not to see that again. I locked that up with the keys inside on purpose. Give me bad memories. I appreciate the intention, that's real kind of you, but go ahead and keep it. Is it something to do with why you live all the way out here with the uh, squirrels? I just don't feel comfortable in the regular society no more. Is it something to do with that old this old pickaxe? Oh my god! No, I didn't do nothing. He starts chattering wildly and squirrel. Wow, whoa. Okay, sorry. I'll put you away. Never mind. Holloway grabs a paper bag from under the counter and hyperventilates into it for a bit. Eventually he calms down, though he still kinda has a wild look in his eyes. So uh welcome to my shop. What can I do for you? Well, if you see what you're selling. Jar of peanut butter. The bamboo tie. You would never wear this, but maybe you'll find a child that needs help getting ready for a funeral. It definitely sounds like something that would happen out west. Just for that, I am. <laughs> I have a tendency to buy garbage I don't need. Pine cone? It's a pine cone. Pine trees use them for reproduction. Animals use them for food, and grandmothers use them for making little decorative owls. Just gonna buy my. Well, that was kind of weird and depressing. Oh, uh, let's see. Now shaped ice sculpture again. Whoa, that wasn't what I was expecting. <laughs> that was weird. With the way you destroyed that iceberg, they should call you global warming. Boo! Oh lord. A skeleton moseys up to you, wearing a leather vest, chaps, and a rancher-style felt hat, bleached white by long years in the sun. He also has a tin star on his lap hole that says Texas Ranger. Glares at you suspicion in his eye sockets. Not sure how. But doesn't say anything. He's just seen his jaw, so he probably can't even hiss like most skeletons. Hey, uh, what's up? You're a long way from home. Nothing. The skeleton apparently decides he isn't interested in you and turns on his way. Just watch him leave. I'm a bit too violent in this game, you know? The transponder be leaps at you, which only means one thing. Treasure or a fight. Well, I guess that's really two things. Anyway, this time it turned out to be a fight. Specifically a fight with a large robot. Well, assuming you decide to fight it. 
Hold it! Not that ain't that impressive. Oof. Gonna be a long fight, I think. Oh boy. Pick a few well placed. Fix that real quick. Yeah, let's do it. And then blow this bitch away. Yay, we got a battery! Hooray! Uh, let's see. One of those machines down in this. Oh boy, another cow. Dang. Oh, that reminds me, I should probably go see that uh, dynamite guy. Okay, I just had a moment of what? <laughs> oh well, I guess we're just gonna use Black Scalibur. So far, not funny. All right, where's that battery thing? Disposal offline. Go to dynamite fans. Because I need more dynamite. Ooh, gather some beer. I need more dynamite. to go that needs a battery. Is Madness Mall one of the places? I 
How am I cutting through these mountains? Sarparilia. Is that what? Fight! Oh, yikes. Um, let's see. This guy's gonna need to be a jousting kerosene. Him. That'll buy us a few rounds. Chuck a few things of dynamite at him. Might as well clear the cave out while I'm here. Hi, how's it going? New mask, who dis? I, uh... Attack! Just rude. Cool, we got a stock certificate. I like how this one's just standing there looking dumb. Yeah. Roper. than necessary. Uh, 
And I got another sock certificate. Nice. There, fellow cultists. What? Go away! <laughs> and then Alice can just blow this pool away. Side of the road, you spot a lone and gloomy grave marker with a lone and gloomy man in a black robe digging up it of the grave with a shell. Hey, what are you doing? The hooded figure looks to the two of you and looks at his shovel, looks at the grave, and looks back at you. Do I really need to explain? Y'all need a track dog on me to put it through when I put your all your damn pistols. <laughs> you. I think she means why are you doing it? Well, it's for necromancy practice, right? I mean, you gotta get the body from somewhere. That's despicable. This is the necromancer's territory now. Your moral outreach isn't really my concern. Did you just say shrug? That's it. Let's kill him. Agreed. <laughs> Blows us away. And hey, I got a new shovel. You won! You kick him into the hole he's dug and fill it in. That'll show him. Nice. Okay. Made no 
sense to me at all. Uh, Dumble neck. Oh wait, Curious Cops. There's a lot of curious landscaping going on here. Boo. Doors return in solar. Awesome. Uh, jumble neck. Okay, that's it. We have to cheer with this one. Too loud. Better. Oh. If you have a good reason to be carrying around a paper or sandwich bag full of old grease, I would like to hear it because I can think of none. That should fix the stupid thing. The lever mechanism is rusted and stuck. This is going to require something heavier duty than a can of oil, seems like. You dump a bunch of grease into the mechanism and use the sandwich bag to sort of goosh it up, up in there without getting too much of it on your hands. Yeah. You yank hard on the lever and it releases the mechanism's wound up springs, launching the mining cart down the track with a terrific wane noise. Off in the distance, you hear a kaboom. Huh. Now we can get in here. Oh dear. The skeleton sees you reaching out. Oh, to. Oh, to that weird statue. Or reach out with the statuette? With its hands full on up, it's impossible to tell. Some kind of weird statuette on the ground. Take it. You pick up the statuette. It's made of silver, and the tarnish and darkness make it hard to tell what it's meant to depict. Hmm. There's something in. You look through your pack muck for what? For something that might be good to throw into the bot a bottomless pit. You 
take a weird, twisty, tarnished silver knife out of your pack and look at it. You don't like looking at it very much. Or in the hole. You toss a weird silver knife into the hole. This makes you feel relieved, though it's hard to say why. Phew. deeper into your pack looking for something else you might want to toss into the bottomless pit. You take the idol out of your bag. You don't like the, like the way it, it looks at you it looks in this dim light. You don't like the way it looks at you in this dim light. Um... Oh yeah, the curious abandoned well. You happen across an unexpected crate. Why unexpected? I'm referring to its location, not its condition, which is nailed shut. Open it up. the deepest delve again. and being slobs in this game. go through this every time. Oh, 
home bits. Uh, just storage facility. Grab that coal thing, don't I? No, wait, wrong mine. I guess I will swamp a bit again. past a woman who is running along on the desert trail on foot. And although I say running, it's a slow run, but then odd the lopping, looping, lopping gait. She's dressed oddly, too. No hat, just a thin strip of fabric tied across her forehead, like clothing, and strange soft-looking boots that barely even cut above to her ankles. Uh, everything alright? Are you running away from something? So they're pretty slow, like maybe a desert tortoise or- No, no, I'm jogging! What? Jogging! I invented it! It's like slow running! Where I'm from, you just walk! It's better exercise if you go faster! Not fast enough to actually get away from anything, though! But full out running wears you out! The That isn't as healthy! It's healthier than being eaten by a bear! I- Look, I'm not being chased by bears! I've never even been chased by a bear. Yes, that's obvious. You're alive and not mangled lumps. This is about physical fitness. Bears aren't an issue. Okay, you're right. Thank you. There aren't many bears out here in the desert. Pack at coyotes, though. You'd be in real trouble. This is a very frustrating conversation. They tear you to shreds. Even without all of those goofy-looking shoes. Hey, I designed these myself. They are not goofy. They're pretty goofy. Gah! I mean, what good are they if you can't ru even run properly with them? What? They don't pretend! And they certainly aren't going to protect your ankles. From coyote bites. They'll be perfectly good for kicking your ass! Gosh, all this exercise has made you kind of belligerent. Get down off that horse! How about OEC catch me? You're right away. The dogger runs after you for a bit, yelling, but as predicted, she can't catch up. Gotta be the shoes. <laughs> yep. I think sneakers are awesome. <laughs> oh boy. I really don't want to go to Frisco for- oh. You come across to a treacherous canyon. 
Fortunately, someone has thought of fully provided a log for you to cross. Unfortunately, it isn't as wide as your horse. Carefully lead your horse across. You and your horse carefully tiptoe across the log. I wish we could show you what a tiptoeing horse looks like, but because I bet it's a it's real weird. It probably really is. And up that moxie. Hey, next time I get a thousand po experience points, I'll just put but it's something to do. Click on the draw. I will go to Frisco. <laughs> Who the heck are you? I'm Emperor Norton! I'm in charge of this city. You can't build any tracks here without my permission. Emperor, where's your crown then? As it happens, I lost my dang crown. Cool thing didn't fit right anyway, but without it, I can't issue any official permits. And that means no rails for you! Of course. Unless, of course, you were going, you were going, you were to give me a new crown, a properly fitting one. I don't have any crowns, sorry. Well, I guess that just tears it, don't it? So not only do you not get that permit, but also. He reaches into his pocket and grabs a handful of powder, which he throws in your face. Your eyes burn. Ha! Have a taste of my famous anti-virus, sucker! Your vision goes weird, all weird, and you pass out. What was that? When you come to, Norton is gone. And so is the train. Uh-oh. Comedy flyer. This is something found on the ground in Frisco, which means that, that in the absolute best case scenario, it's garbage. It's just nearly identical houses as far as the eye can see in that direction. Oh, good. A bar fight! Yes! Seven! I'm going to blow this motherfucker away! <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> Was that supposed to hurt me? Flip this. And blow this fucker <laughs> away. Ah, bitch! You emerge from that brawl relatively unscathed. Relatively. <laughs> this lady has her rock in her whiskey? Ask her about it. Whiskey on the rocks, eh? <laughs> that was a little funny the first time I heard it today. So by now it should be a laugh right, right? Mm-hmm. Seriously, though. Why are you ruining that whiskey with the ro with that rock? I'm not here to drink. I'm doing important research. What kind of research. Let's see the effects of various liquids on on hypercrystalline th thermomorphic diorities. Today's liquid is ethanol. Maybe I'm gonna go out. Maybe I'm going out on a limb here, but I'm guessing you're some kind of scientist. Good guess! Specifically, I'm an arcane arcano geologist. Magical rocks? Hey, not bad! You got it, it in one! Dr. Josie Morton at your service. Hi, I'm Balloon of Scale. My second <laughs> is gonna be pothole, but rocks don't have those. No! Not typically, no. Morton, hi. Any relation to that emperor guy? Who? 
the weirdo outside who was calling himself Emperor Norton? Are you asking me if I'm related to someone because our last names were I'm? Well, not anymore. We met the professor. The guy researching El Vibrato out by Gustavin's Gulch. That's him. This book is really intriguing, but our fields of study don't overlap as much as you'd think. No? I'd have thought an El Vibrato would be right up your alley. There's all kinds of magical rocks and that stuff. Yeah, but those rocks were heavily modified by the El Vibratones. My interest is in magical rocks and in their naturally occurring state. Ah, I see. How's your whiskey experiment going? Not great, but to be honest, I wasn't expecting much. This test should, would really be done. And with pure ethanol, but it's too hard to get it at that out here. So I'm trying whiskey just for the heck of it, but the impurities in it would screw up my findings even if I had any. Well, that's a shame. Hey, you're Rochester Blue. Oh, that's unrelated. Hi Hypercrystalline Thamorphic Diorite turns blue every 23 minutes. I have a colleague who pat the patent and design for a watch based on that at, at property of it. But a 23 minute watch just isn't very useful. Unless you know the whole cancer thing. Cancer? Yeah, did you think I wasn't drinking this because of the flavor? It's because I don't want a tumor that can t yell its own name. Do you need any help with your experiment? Sure, I can always use more samples. If you find anything interesting, Ross, bring them to my house. What counts as interesting? I haven't seen rocks that turn blue. Oh, just anything a rock doesn't ordinarily do. Moving around on its own, defying gravity, displaying rudimentary intelligence. What about a rock that plays the banjo? Ha have you seen a rock that plays the banjo? Oh no, I was just what ifing. She's Louise, don't get my hopes up like that. Well, I'll swim by if I find any interesting rocks. Alright, thanks. Hope to see you soon. Pays her tab, finishes that, fishes the rock out of her whiskey, and leaves. She said there's no sense in throwing the bath water out with the baby. See? And you pocket the whiskey. Dr. Morton told you this whiskey was poisonous, but you figure all whiskey is technically poisonous. So, how much worse could this really be? I don't want to know, honestly. Hell, I'll be a new face. I'm Kluunki. Make yourself at home. Thanks, I'm Belinda Scale. New to town? I've been helping Manifest Destiny get the trail tracks laid. We're very, very close, but we haven't quite finished. Sounds like good to use a drink. Yeah, no shit! Ooh. Ooh. Eh. Well, I won't use the gin, but... I mean, I won't use the olive, but... Huge brawl going on over there. Well, them fellas are always b blowing off steam. I just let them go ahead and get their aggressions out. So long as they keep over there, away from that uh, furniture, from what furniture I got left. Can you tell me about Frisco? Oh, it's a fine town. A fella na named Samson Frisco founded it way back when the mines first opened out, out this way, and everyone caught the fever. Mine fever? Yep. The kind you'd get for breathing in too much dirt. Frisco was a doctor, you see? Ah, got you. Bye bye, Barn Man. <laughs> you know what I'm going for. Oh boy, another spittoon! Let's go! Uh, what's with the excitement? I've given up! This is the last platoon in the game, and I'm not going to try and convince you to not be the most disgusting person on earth anymore. Let's go. Let's do this. Yeah, search that fifth the platoon. You kneel down on the floor and throw your arms around on the platoon, giving the greasy brass bucket a great big hug. How about a kiss? Would you like to kiss it? <laughs> you pucker up and give the platoon a great big kiss right on the rim. 
Is their tongue involved? Well, I'll leave that up to you. But even without Odin, it tastes like a burning horse. I love it. I know you do, friend. And if it were illegal in this county, I'd let you marry that spittoon and have a beautiful romantic honeymoon night with it. But unfortunately, you're going to have to sell it for wearing it as a hat. Yes, please. <laughs> you flip that beautiful brass bucket over her and slap it on your head, drenching yourself in hot brown tobacco spit. It washes over your face and hair like a sewage waterfall, soaking your clothes, running down your collar, and slithering into your underwear and filling your boots. I can't even force myself to describe it in any more detail than that. You are the world's foulest human being. Congratulations. <laughs> That much? Are you kidding me? Projectionist wanted. Word on the street is that Projectionist 2 wanted 2 is already in the works. Well, this is awkward. Where'd the train go? That lunatic stole it! He drove it off somewhere into the desert! No one's got off the rails! He points to a set of deep ruts off to the side of the railroad tracks. You walk over to investigate, but you can't see it because of this weird hexagon thing and your eyes are doing. You should probably get that checked out, oh boss. That Norton fellow said it's something about an antivirus? Someone around here knows something about it. Yeah, probably. You don't look so well. Ugh, yeah, I can't see well either. Oh no, did that rascal Nord do this to you? He was raving about some sort of anti-virus earlier. Any idea how I can fix this? Do you know that feller named a Roy Bean? The one that collects all kinds of jelly beans? I think maybe he's made one, got one made of honey and that could help you with your predicament. That makes zero sense, but I suppose I don't have a better plan. Let's get going. Ay ay ay. Uh, alrighty, Belinda, thanks again for helping me get all back all my jelly beans. Don't mention it. There's a single yellow jelly bean in, in this case with a sign that says Paraguayan Murder Bee Honey Jelly Bean. Very rare, 6,000 meat. Roy walks over. Does this jelly bean really cost 6,000 meat? Well, normally it does, but. That I guess this scene has how you helped me clear out with them bandits and the goblins and damn dirty hippies. Let's call her five. Five meat? Really? Yeah, I reckon. Better b or buy it in a hurry before I change my mind. Yes, please, thank you. You end over the meat, you almost feel bad because of the depth of the discount. Take your leave. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Bean, where's the bean? Um, 
Do? Honey jelly bean. Eat that jelly bean and your vision immediately clears. Water mountain is really amazing. There we go. You know, I probably could have seen, asked Alice if she could have helped me because, you know, that would have probably made some sense. But, we'll pursue the train in the next episode. Maybe. Hopefully. Depends. Because I'm kind of, you know, pathetic. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, like, comment, subscribe, click that notification bell icon, and share this video with someone who might enjoy the series. I'm Gamer Dragon, and I'll see you tomorrow with more Oblivion. Bye!